What is up you guys, my name is Pure B and welcome back to another video. So before I begin, I would like to say uh yeah. Sorry for the lack of videos the last couple of weeks. I've been very busy with my school, so keep that in mind I guess. It's it's I want to of course keep up more uh keep making more videos, but sometimes real life gets in the way. Um but that didn't mean I did not have any time to work on some new ships and all that stuff so what you see behind me and to the side of me was some kind of inspired builds so well, actually that thing is not that's actually don't know what it is but um, those two those are and basically that one is a later version of that one and for those who watch Star Wars Rebels might recognize it at least I hope you recognize it and uh, yeah I tried to make or at least try to make a ship which looks like the ghost from Star Wars Rebels and in my opinion I did really well especially with the backside if you look at that if, if that doesn't scream ghost then I don't know what else will um, the reason I say it's inspired by the ghost is because of course well real ghost doesn't have a cockpit like this it's more dome shaped but yeah space engineers doesn't allow for dome shaped stuff so why two versions that's mainly because of the thing uh, me Robin Jeremy Jay and some more people actually started and that is a survival um, server like a legit server which we play on and uh, try to survive on. Um, so basically what I did is I took this ship and just to see if you know it would work in survival. Turns out it does but it needed some modifications. So I guess let's go first through this thing and uh, let the ramp come down because that's actually one thing uh, I definitely wanted to have on the ship was a ramp which was going up and down because that's one of the main things you see use the ghost uh, a lot and that is the ramp so yeah you can just walk on that thing real easy and then open the hangar uh, inside the ghost uh, or at least the layout of this ship I tried to get that as close as possible to um, what the ghost is in real life Except for this airlock which isn't there but you know I tried to make it as realistic as possible so oh, well whatever so in here you got your small uh, yeah hangar bay area cargo room which they used for in the ghost itself uh, yeah normally there would be like another hatch which opens up here on the floor but I decided not to put that in um, yeah and then this is basically, of course, your cargo storage place. Uh, and in Space Engineers, you can haul your small ships with you, which is kind of nice. So behind this all, you got the main jump drive room, uh, some hydrogen, uh, wait, no, oxygen generators, your power supply, of course, and all that stuff. Um, in the survival ready version, I found out that I actually forgot to put in some um, refineries and assemblers yeah. so this area there looks a lot different basically and um, one thing I also found out is that I built this ship mostly for uh, aesthetic yes because this ship when I first made it was not uh, capable of well being a survival ready ship this is nice apparently they fixed the mods because you know this wasn't working before so in here you got your crew area which uh, yeah some kitchen over there your seating area and uh, yeah in Star Wars Rebels they have like this red couch which goes around and actually has like a round table in the middle I couldn't find a mod with uh, which allowed me to place a round table there but yeah 
it's close enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, you also have like a storage closet in the ghost that you can stand off here or stand in here. And this basically gives you access to the entirety of the ship. Which I thought, you know, that's kind of nice touch. This thing. I, I, I have tried so hard to make this work and I'm so happy that this works. So basically you can go up here, close that door, open that door, fly in here. And if you don't know, the ghost actually has like a ship on top of the back which can separate from it and kind of functions as a drop ship slash escape pod slash whatever they want to use it for. So basically I made that as well. So if you just turn off your connector, your thing starts floating up, so it disconnects uh, and then you can just turn on your thrusters and you got a working uh, spacecraft basically. Like if you really need to GTFO for some reason, you can do that with this thing. Like if your main ship just took a hit so bad, uh, yeah, you can just take off with this thing and then go back to your main base, I guess, or crash land it on a planet or something. Which, of course, is not that smart, but you get the idea. It, it works. And if I. Did I. Could you maybe lock in place? That, that would be nice. Maybe today. Why are you not locking? There we go. It locked in place. So, on board of this thing, you got like a small cargo area, uh, seating from for some crew, uh, of course your power supply, and uh, yeah, a oxygen tank or generator. I keep messing those two up, but yeah, that's basically uh, the canteen area, I guess. The quarters oh wait I forgot almost one of the most important rooms here that toilet and shower yeah because you apparently need that you know yeah. <laughs> then over here you got like a main hallway going from side to side to uh, yeah so you can go in and out the ship of course basically those two uh, are also designed to lock with merge blocks two stations so you can potentially have uh, an airtight seal when you want to go out there and then inside the the real ghost you've got the crew quarters area where uh, the crew of the ghost sleeps of course like you got uh, Hera uh, I think Zack and Ezra sleep over there then Sabina over here and Kanan right here um, but I didn't feel like making four identical sleeping uh, sleeping areas, so I decided to make this into a gym of some sort. Uh, this is a crew area where two people can sleep, like for example Zap and uh, Ezra would sleep over there. Um, you got over here again the same sort of uh, sleeping quarters. But over here you've got, um, yeah, for some more guests, I guess, and some seating areas and some lockers. Just this build, I decided to make it, um, yeah, like I said, more aesthetically uh, working, I guess, not necessarily for survival. So why I initially thought, you know, this is a cool ship and let's try and use it in survival, I have no idea. But I did. So in here, or through that door, I guess should say we come through the bridge. And by the looks of it, the program is not running. And now it is. So of course you got your uh, cockpits of uh, your crew, your main seat over here where uh, Hera should sit down and fly the ship. And that's basically this entire ship like you got down here another thing on the ghost is they have a front-facing turret which then would be uh, 
yeah, control the fruit over here. And that is the entirety of the ship, which I called Arcane and not Ghost because, you know, it, it's not really the Ghost. If that makes any sense, but still. So, what I did with this thing is I wanted to use this in the server. And it was actually really useful like, when it was finished. Uh, I was using it a lot to help other people just go around, um, get their stuff from point A to B. Like, I hold with that thing um, a whole station to a separate area because I had jump drives and I could jump like insane far with this thing. Because that's another thing. I th um, that version has only four jump drives. Um, and I think it would jump over 200 kilometers. This thing, I managed to fit in an additional two, um, or three actually. Yeah, because I had to work around with some areas with some space and stuff. So I think this one has four, that one has six, but basically this thing can jump over 3000 kilometers, which was insane. So first thing you notice, which was different actually, is this ramp. I decided not to go with the rotor thing because that instantly blew up so I had to fix the whole front again and just decided you know what it's too much of a hazard just make it a fixed ramp yeah it, it looks a bit worse but it functions way better so basically you've got your controls over here uh, your hangar door to lower that thing and actually I managed to put in an additional uh, oxygen tank behind that thing so whenever I now press this button and uh, close the hangar door this area actually pressurizes before you know you can do anything else or in that case you can depressurize it and uh, don't lose any oxygen because that was one of the things this ship was doing insanely um, it was going through ice as a madman like you can fill up this thing with half a million kilos of ice and um, it would be going through that in like an hour or two or three so I decided to make this thing move uh, a bit more without the ion or the hydrogen thrust because this thing oh shit I opened up the wrong one so this thing actually it has two additional uh, ion thrusters on the back so it actually was able to move without the hydrogen which was kind of nice because it really needed that so as you can see instantly that whole section is different we've got some assemblers over here and it's just is way more cramped and all that stuff so basically uh, I put a refinery in here because at the time I did not have enough resources to build uh, an additional jump drive and I found out indeed that I forgot to put in a refinery and assembler so because I forgot that the wing sections of this thing have like insane amount of area still um, I just decided to put it in here and also it kind of looks great or cool I guess so I blocked off this so you don't fall down I guess or don't fall out of it really easy like you can do with the other one and the main thing I also found out is this thing was hard to uh, make completely in the first go so what I did is I made multiple access hatches to like the crawl space of the ship this is also a deep uh, a non pressurized area because of the, the thrusters are back here like as you can see th that that's not uh, pressurizable I guess because there's a hole there um, but then over here you, we got like another refinery with insane amount of modules insane amount of storage area over here a large one like uh, except for the the refinery over here I think this is pretty much identical in the other ship except for the fact that this floor I think was going all the way through I guess and 
that this is one of the server areas. Oh, I actually apparently did never manage to finish like some of the stuff even here. Um, yeah, so th this is basically one big maze with all like working components. Uh, as you can see hydrogen tanks over here, uh, batteries here and there, oxygen tanks, which I think there should have been another one over here, but I'm not sure. Uh, can we get to the other side actually for this area? I'm not sure if we can. Well, basically back there there are multiple other hydrogen tanks and stuff. But this is for example one area. Uh, of on this side we got an additional refinery and on the other side we got like more jump drives. Um, oh yeah, this is actually behind the the door over there. <laughs> Which had the crawl space, or no, not the crawl space, the, uh, the closet, I mean. So, well, you, you get the main idea over here. Uh, this is basically just conveyors and stuff, which I guess I, or I didn't know, like in survival, it would have been that much easier to just be able to access all these things. So, uh, yeah, that's in the end why I decided to make like multiple access hatches like this one over here. One also a big difference uh, you will see right now is this thing does not have the interior. Or at least not the uh, modded part. Because on the server we didn't run uh, those specific mods. Not actually any mods in the beginning. So again this area here uh, it's empty. And I decided to put in another access hatch. So I can go over here and actually go towards the jump drives, which I put in here. Additionally. Or, yeah, words. Hard. Speaking English, I can't, apparently. So, yeah, as you can see, more jump drives. Basically the same thing over here. Uh, I think above this thing is the working server room. Uh, yeah, more hydrogen tanks and everything. So, Basically, it's a mess down here. That's why uh, I decided to put everything, I guess, inside of the, um, the wings. Because that just left me with so much space uh, for, I guess, the crew quarters and all that stuff. So over here, I just have two empty rooms because... Uh, well, again, this one also an access hatch to like uh, this uh, words. I mean, this is done an access hatch to the servers, which actually uh, ran the scripts and all that stuff. But the other room, I didn't in the end did not have anything to put in there, or like I didn't know what to put in here, so I just left it empty for future expansion, I guess. And that is basically what I did with the other two. So over here. I got a single cryopod, which just was for me. I jumped in, uh, good lock off, and all that stuff, which was really nice and convenient, considering the fact that I forgot to put that in apparently as well. And over here, I got some uh, cargo containers which are not connected to the main grid. So, what I did with these is basically this was my personal stash of stuff, so it was not uh, visible in the toolbar configuration and not. Uh, in the terminal so you couldn't see these blocks if you wanted inside the terminal uh, not even like see if there was stuff in there but of course there is so I got some guns over here and all, uh, a few materials just for you know if something would break uh, also I always would have like some materials but over here in the bridge I guess not really that much change except for like this chair at some point uh, the ship decided to buck the fuck out for some reason we jumped like 300 kilometers couldn't move anymore uh, ship was not moving we ground down like almost every uh, control sting relocked and that eventually fixed it but yeah it, it was weird but as you can see I decided to change out these uh, sorry, these LCDs for uh, the M Master script thing. So, can we run? That still works, I think. 
yes now it's booting up so basically I decided to put in this MS script uh, which basically then uh, told me everything I had inside the ship everything I had like components wise and apparently this is a blueprint of when um, when we emptied the thing because initially I had a shit ton of everything in the ship because this was basically my main base slash you know house as you can see we have now one two three four five jump drives and I'm actually curious now how far did we or were we able to jump okay 10,000 kilometers empty I say that's not bad for a thing with five jump drives so I guess um, that is mainly it for arcane I guess so if you guys would like to see this thing for yourself just let me know I'll put it up on the workshop um, this version in particular it is very useful in survival it jumps like sick far uh, it is like because I made it in survival and found bugs and stuff like I mean with the ship oh, that's necessary uh, space engineers but because I was using it I adapted the ship for what I needed so this thing it can defend itself like it has turrets of course rockets at the front and you know it's just overall useful because as you can see it has the thrusters atmospheric ones this these are actually the ion thrusters I was talking about in the beginning because it was only running off those small ion thrusters over there which really did not get this thing moving so I decided to add those more uh, bigger ion thrusters and yeah that's basically what this ship is guys so I hope you all enjoyed uh, me ranting on way too long making some ships and stuff but if you want to see them on the workshop I'll put definitely the survival ready version of uh, Arcane because that's the ship's name not the ghost no, it's Arcane um, I'll put it up there and so you can see it for yourself use it for yourself it's actually capable of flying in and out atmosphere due to the fact that it has those atmospheric thrusters and all that stuff so i hope you enjoyed for the thousandth time and then i'll see you all in the next video peace out